It is time to upgrade the lights over the frag tank. What's going on YouTube? John here. Thank you for joining Blue Carbon Reefing. So today we are going to swap out the lights on the frag tank. Um, we bought some Ocean Revives. Um, I'm going to re be replacing these pestles. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some power readings I have before and I have an idea of what it's going to be at, but just so you can kind of see the improvement, uh, not just directly under these lights, but the entire length and width of the tank. Because uh, the Ocean Revives obviously have a lot wider of a spread. So, um, also I'm doing this because um, the corals in here, all the frags are used to a certain par. I want to make sure that I'm also kind of lining up the, the new lights with a kind of equal or equivalent type of par. So I'm not obviously stressing the corals out. I can eventually start to ramp the lights back up over the course of four to six weeks. But uh, I want to start at least low and work my way up so I don't stress out the corals. So I'm going to take some par readings uh, directly under the light, you know, maybe in the middle and far ends and then all the way down at the bottom. Uh, and I'll kind of let you know. You might be able to zoom in on this. If not, I'll kind of try to read this out loud of what I've seen. Um, but we have our little set eye here. Um, instead of an actual like par meter, this actually works as well as a par meter. That's what I bought it for was that purpose. I didn't keep it for uh, you know any other kind of monitoring. So it's a great little tool to have and um, maybe not exactly accurate compared to some of the other par meters available but if it's within five or 10%, at least we have a good baseline of where to go from. So I'm gonna start with directly under the lights and then work my way down and then kind of name out a few corals that are here and you know what kind of par that they're getting. Uh, I really wanna make sure I'm consistent with the more, uh, the more expensive ones towards the front that I had just gotten recently. So at the surface of the water, Directly under, we're at 300 and let's say 330 par. Uh, directly under the 10k one, we're only at 150 par. So either the lights, which this light is about seven years old, it's either losing some of its power or just different spectrum. This one obviously has the ability to have intensity turned all the way up. I don't, this one obviously doesn't have that option. So this one, the intensity is full blast. So we are directly under the light. We're in the 300s. Well, let's even say in the 260s, 270, 280. Yeah, directly under the light, we're getting 2,100 par. I would be blasting them. We only have about 1,200 directly under the light here. So, still directly under the light. I'd say above the corals at the, at the rack, we're at about 130, 140 par this side we're only at about 60 par kind of in the middle between them about 120 par obviously over here this third light is not on at all we got five par we got really nothing coming over here Um, basically right in front of the branching cyphastria, we got about 30 par. Now over my three corals that I've recently gotten, one is upstairs in the main display, but the three that are left down here from Top Shelf Aquatics are at about 120 par. Yeah, about 120 to 130 par. 
one thing that's only about 80. So we're going to get that in there over the somewhere over the rainbow. We're at about 170, 170, 200 par. Yeah. So the Kessels are good lights. Um, the main reason I'm replacing them is they just don't have a whole lot of spread. I could lift them way up higher, but I'm going to lose a lot of power from these. So these lights probably really weren't designed to go over a four foot by two foot tank, uh, which is the dimensions of this rag tank. Um, we only got 40 power above this. Satosa, Bragg. 70 over that one. This Montecora Stiletta, like 80 par. These eight cans in the back, 40 par. Very, very low, 40, 50 par. So we're going to end it there. Uh, essentially, I just wanted to give you an idea so you could see and then help myself as well see what kind of par. So what I'm getting is directly at the surface, we're two to 300 par, but where most of these corals are, you're anywhere from 50 to 150 par, maybe 130. So not a whole lot of uh, par. And then once you start getting towards the back of the tank, you really only got 50 par to 100 par, very low par towards the back. There's nothing over here. Obviously this light isn't being used. Um, so we're gonna have two ocean revives that should do a great spread. I'm gonna decide how high I want them. I do want to be able to use the entire width of the two feet, but I'm probably going to have them maybe a month a little bit higher, maybe, I'm going to say maybe 10 to 12 inches off of the water. So stay tuned. We're going to put these lights on. I'll probably do a speed up for this. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll do some par ratings with the new lights. So we're going to unbox one of these Ocean Revive so you can kind of see what they look like. Uh, I'm sure most of you are familiar with it, but just in case, I want to make sure you guys can see what comes with them. Uh, I've already kind of pre-opened this one up just a little bit, but you got your mounting kit, which we are going to use, um, which is just a coated steel braided line. Uh, you got the arms, which I will not be using. Um, comes with a handy dandy remote, so once I set the timers, I can also adjust or change it with this. Obviously you got your power cord, this is for the mounting, if you want to use the, the mounting arms, which the mounting arms actually just stand on the glass itself, uh, we're not going to do that, we're actually going to uh, mount them from the ceiling. The light itself, so obviously you can see you have four different clusters of 12, so you got 48 LEDs that are in here, there are two channels. Uh, you got a, I think it's just blue and royal blue, and then you have your whites, UV, green, and red, uh, which is the full spectrum. Uh, the blues is channel one, and then the full spectrum is channel two. Uh, we'll give you more of a review on that once we actually get them up and installed, but really nice. We're going to screw on your hanging kit directly onto these lights. And then we'll be able to suspend them from the ceiling using this. So I'm going to measure this out and just try to make them as even as possible and uh, we'll hang them and go from there.
Lights are installed, they're a good almost 12 inches off the water. Uh, I have both lights up to 100% on both channel 1 and channel 2. Uh, we're going to take some part readings just to compare what the uh, what these are like compared to the Kessels. You're going to notice a huge difference. Uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but visually I can notice a huge difference. Um, I am getting some light spillage here, except this is normally all RO. I don't think I have to worry about any kind of algae or anything growing inside that container. If I do, I can always cover that up with something. Um, so we're going to take some power readings. Uh, what you'll notice the most is now we have a complete two foot spread of light. So uh, we'll start again directly under the light. You're at 1600, 1400 par directly under, depending if you're on directly under a diode or not. Uh, at the surface of the water, we are at 750. Um, 750. About right there, we're only at about, between the two lights, we're at about 300. Um, directly over some of the corals now. I'm getting 430, 450, 480, 500, 420, 650, 660. Over these front ones here, we're at 350. 350 is actually a pretty good number for those, but for blacks and some of these other ones here. This is 400, 420. Let's see these eight cans in the back. So the eight cans in the back were at about 300, 250, 300, 320. That's about 550. So depending on where we are here, let's see at the glass. Now at the bottom we're at 400. And that's over here where there was nothing before. Way over here in this corner is 210. So we got a huge difference here now. Obviously we're just going to turn these down a little bit. It's the lowest number I've seen so far. It's about 198, 191. So, needless to say, very happy with these. I think that they will definitely have the par ratings um, that I will need. I'm actually going to turn them down so I don't shock the corals going from 50 to 100 par, 150 par to 500. So I'm probably going to turn these down. I also want to do just the blues. Uh, let's see if we can turn just the blues on. And we're going to take some par readings here. Now I will say, I don't know if the camera again will pick this up, but the blues and the glows on these corals is pretty awesome. Uh, very comparable actually to the radiance in my opinion. Uh, we're still at about 220, 240, 250 in the middle, 290. Back here by the eight cans, we're at 170, 180, 150, right over these, 250, 260, 170. So really the blue channel is a little bit closer to where it was. It's still at 160, even at 111. I can't find anywhere that's under 100, 110. corner back here. There you go. Right there. Darkest spot in the tank. 33 par. Still over 300 at the surface of the water. That's just the blues. 
So here we are with the just the blues on for the new lights. So really just want to kind of give you an overview of what everything looks like now. Um, first and foremost, the Kessel lights. Kessel is a good brand, good light. Uh, just the A150s and the A160s are really not made for a two foot wide span. So you can obviously see when I was taking the par readings, I wasn't really getting a whole lot of par, especially as you went farther away from the, you know, being directly under the light. So now with the... Ocean Revives, obviously there is a much greater spread and equal par through the full two feet. You know, only really maybe in the outside corners is really where the par really drops off. So now I just have to be a little bit careful not to uh, burn these out. Um, I'm really basically what I did is I lowered the, the intensity of the lights down to about um, 60 percent in the blues and I'm only running the whites now for a few hours. So I'll have, you know, a little bit more par at the beginning of the day and then blues towards the end but really in reality um, when you look at just the blue channel compared to what I normally see from the Radeons uh, very 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 similar blues so I'm very happy with these lights um, they're less than a quarter of the price of an actual Radeon so if I can get anywhere close to what I can get out of the Radeon maybe a little bit less controllability uh, but maybe same type of light same intensity and good spread so uh, that's it guys. Any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Uh, and we will definitely come out with more videos in the future. I will give you guys an update of what everything looks like as we go forward with this. I do expect to see you know, some improvement when it comes to some growth and things like that. So can't wait to update you guys on that. Again, thank you so much and happy reefing. Yeah.